Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to talk about basic filters and more advanced filters. So first of all, I'm going on to the data tab where I've got the filter and sort features there readily available and also the advanced features there through the standard filter. But I'm just going to focus first of all on the auto filter, clicking on that. And you get these little drop down arrows on each column heading. So for example, if I wanted to see everybody that attended Equal Ops, I can just um, take the tick off, select all and tick Equal Ops and then click OK. And then it will filter that for me. And you can see the filtered range down there. Now with a filter, you should always clear the filter off. So if I drop this down and click on all again, that will bring them all back. Now, if I want to look at all females that attended Equal Ops, I can just tick the male off, click OK to that, and then go for Equal Ops again, take the tick off all, Equal Ops, and then click OK. So there's only two females attended Equal Ops. Now, because I've got multiple columns selected here, I could just click that off and it will come back on and then put that back on again. So it's just cleared it off really, which is great. Now, there are options, or sometimes you want to ask a more complicated question than just dropping down an individual column and, and seeing what's in the list. So when you do drop this down, you've got some other features here. You've got filter by color. Now I've only got blue and yellow selected here, and black if you like, font color. But if I click on the yellow, that's just gonna show you that one line and knock that off again. Now if I go back into that, you've also got condition and is empty, not empty, bottom 10, etc. And then it links to standard filter, which is the more advanced area. You've also got an option to go into at the top here. So what I'm going to do is go into the standard filter and have a quick look at what we've got in there. Okay, grade is equal to AA. And then underneath you've got another option where you can select and or or and let's go for course attended is equal to equal ops and then equal ops and let's go for age greater than 30 so we'll go for age and this time we can change this is greater than so that's these signs here. You've got greater than or equal to, but I'll go greater than. And then I'm just going to type 30 in there. So that's three separate conditions, if you like, that I've set. I'll click OK to that. And then there's just one person with that. So if I just clear that off again and put it back on. So I'm going through for the standard filter through this option at the top there. And... I'll change that to gender equals male. You can drop it down there, but I'll just select it there, M. Or I'll go for or grade is equal to, and I'll select AA. I've got no idea how many people that will be, but if I click OK to that, I'll get my list there. 17 rows of information clear that off back to 22 rows so it's showing me down there what the filter gives you so that's basically the two different filters you've got straightforward filter that you'd see in a column sort, ascending and sort descending on there you can set that by that column and it will just sort by that column you can see that i've got this row yellow so it's not mixing that up if i do it there Descending just moves it up. You've also got that at the top there. These two buttons are exactly the same. So if I go into the sort box, I can select name. Let's go back up to the top. Name and then gender and then come down a little bit. Grade in there. So I've got three. And as you can come down, you've got even more, more there. You could do course attended. 
and five can be aged so that's probably as many as you'd want so it only comes down this list if there is a duplicate in the previous option so if there's two names it'll then look at that so I click OK on that one let's see what's happened there's loads of Smiths if I just go and make those stand out a little bit then there were female Smiths like that, so duplicates, there's only one grade, one course, and then that's the way it's done the sort there. Let's colour that in. So it's, that, it's dependent how you want to set these sorts up, but that's basically how you do it. Best through the data tab and this box here. Off. That's it. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use... The, the basic filters to select information from a list and then how you can use a more advanced filter which is called the standard filter to ask more detailed questions from a list. So hopefully that little video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.